Good morning, good day, and good evening. We start today's episode with a disclaimer. The following episode was recorded prior to the event aforementioned being cancelled. Due to issues beyond control, the universe has somehow decided that this event will not go on. But that does not mean you shouldn't enjoy the following episode. It is filled with a lot of whimsical moments between our good friend, Victoria Zertuch. And while Vicky's show was cancelled, doesn't mean it won't take place perhaps further in the future. At that point, we will keep you posted. But for now, please enjoy our conversation with the Sunshine Nausea. Thank you very much. Or make night hiking, if you will. Mm-hmm. Uh, Griffith Park. I've done uh, Rapier Up Lake, uh, Haunted Forest. Oh, I yeah. haven't done that one yet. <laughs> yeah. But I think I actually am freaked out about that one. <laughs> At four o'clock in the morning? Yeah. Oh, yeah. When, you, when you're yeah. Coming, yeah, that's, I don't know. that's something I've else. I've never been hiking that early. <laughs> oh, or late. Or, or late. Yeah, like, yeah, depending <laughs> on what your schedule is. Yeah. So you just put the headphones on? Mm hmm. Yeah. Which one? The hikes, the going up and climbing um, mountains. I want to get more into it, but also too, um, my friend does mountain biking. Oh my! And it's pretty intense. But I was thinking about like possibly getting into it. I have a thing about that because the last time I was I toppled with a mountain biker, I ended up falling off a mountain. Oh shoot! And ended up like <laughs> splitting my knee. Yeah, yeah. Forget it. So, uh, Never mind. I have that's a thing against mountain bikers, so that's me. Okay. Yeah. I don't know. I don't know about that. But the only reason <laughs> no. is because she never looked back. She never looked down to see if I was okay. She kept on going, and I was obviously off a freaking hill. <laughs> fell about three seconds in airdrop, and then hit the ground and kept on tumbling for another five, six seconds. That's terrifying. Yeah, it was fun. I don't know if it's more terrifying that experience or actually being on the bike going down. <laughs> that's true. That yeah. could be. That's a whole different experience. I've seen like videos where people are on cliffs, like you mm-hmm. know, in Grand Canyon or something. Like, how are they? You know, yeah. I don't know. I rather not. Mm-mm. I'll die. <laughs> <laughs> issue thirty, wait, issue forty. Wait, issue forty. Comic centric. We're already recording, by the way. Oh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> so all those P's and Q's. All right, then. Oh, and yeah. So. And thank you very much for joining us on today. Let me ask you this question only once, so I can get it right. How do you say your last name? My last name. Bird last name? Yeah. Zertucci. Zertucci. Yeah. Because I kept on saying Zertucci. Uh, I, pron- I pronounced it Zertucci. D- D- e and then, okay. Mm-hmm. I did have a fourth grade teacher who would call me Zertucci. Mm-hmm. So, according <laughs> to him, that's the you, proper I could. pronunciation. Okay. So. okay, Zertucci. Zertucci. Okay. Vicky or Victoria? Uh, I don't have a preference. No preference? <laughs> but we know you best as Sunshine, Sunshine Nausea. Correct. On the Instagram. Mm-hmm. And she's here to promote? Um, I'm here to promote a show. It's mm-hmm. my first show that I'm putting together. Um, it's going to be at uh, Other Books mm-hmm. LA um, in Boyle Heights. And I'm going to have a few performers there, including myself and a few um, artists and vendors um, selling things and exposing their art. Um, a friend that's going to be playing music in between, so okay. it should be fun. A DJ? <laughs> a DJ, mm-hmm. correct. Okay, so you just gave us a lot in there. <laughs> <laughs> mm-hmm. Yeah. Okay, so we're going to try to break it down a little bit. Okay. We're going to start with, you're going to be there. Yes. You're going to be performing. Mm-hmm. Okay. New songs, old songs, whatever you're going to do here. Um, so I started writing songs, mm-hmm. and it turns out that just... Uh, this past year, mm-hmm. I, I wrote about like seven little tunes, so I figured to put them together. Okay. So they're all pretty new songs, yeah. Wow, mm-hmm. look at that. And then how many performers are you going to have? I'm going to have a total of four, including myself. Okay. So who are these other three? Three, correct. Mm-hmm. Um, one is going to be uh, Thelma, mm-hmm. and then we also have um, Small Forest, and we also have Ghost Water. Interesting. Mm-hmm. Tell me a little bit about each one of these. Okay, so they're all pretty close friends, um, mm-hmm. and they make music themselves, and I have had the pleasure to have them support me last year through little open mics, and I wanted to give them some exposure as well okay. to have some full sets. So um, Thelma does acoustic guitar, um, and I, I mean, 
the, he writes original songs as well, and mm. so does Small Forest. Okay. Has been playing some music as well, um, writing his own um, tunes. And then Ghostwater, uh, she does do acoustic performance, but um, she's going to perform with uh, Keys, mm -hmm. so that would be really interesting. And she also does her own um, original songs. Have they performed together before? Um, I believe uh, Small Forest and Ghostwater, they're really close, so they've performed together. Okay. So it'll be my first time seeing her perform, actually. Wow, okay. This is interesting. I'm, I've, I've never heard of these bands. Besides the ones, when you posted them up, I kind of think of a ghost, uh, the first one, I think I heard it. Mm -hmm. And that's about it. I'm really excited because I have no idea what, what I'm kind of getting myself into when I go to this show. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, we'll talk a little bit more about that in a bit. Mm -hmm. The vendors. You're going to have vendors selling? Yes. So we have a few artists. Mm -hmm. um, we have Host of All Bones. Uh, he does, he does uh, art and mm -hmm. also um, he also makes other... <laughs> I'm so sorry. No worries. I am not prepared for this. Mm -hmm. um, but he also makes uh, his own, um, you know, like crafts and things like that. Okay. Um, a lot of hand sketching, but I admire it so much. Um, then we also have um, A Sizzles, and she does a lot of canvas art paintings. Oh. So um, I really enjoy the, the pop that she brings in her art. Um, we have Suicidal Goldfish, mm -hmm. um, a really close friend of mine. Um, with her zines and, and novels. She's written a novel and she's had a lot of exposure with um, zine festivals. Mm -hmm. So she's going to be my, my popular <laughs> there <you laughs> item <go>. there. Um, <laughs> yeah, she's one of our zine queens, if you will. Exactly. Mm -hmm. um, and then I'm also going to have um, Ben Raz, and mm -hmm. he does a lot of comic arts. Mm -hmm. So that's really cool. Um, he volunteered to help out, so I'm so thankful. And I've never, I didn't know he was an artist, and he's such, he's such a great artist. So, mm -hmm. um, and then there's also going to be some, uh, like handcrafted cards. Oh, uh, that's going to be by um, uh, Facaccio de Amore. So, it's actually <laughs> a little craft stuff that I do on the side. Oh, so, yeah, oh just cool, cool, added cool. myself in there because <laughs> I didn't have enough. Um, People, artists and vendors. <laughs> yeah, you've added yourself twice, right? Yeah. <laughs> hey, double the work. So it's going to be a lot. Double the work, double the fun. Yeah. Right? Right. Exactly. That's, that's what happens when you throw events, you know? So yeah. Sometimes you just got to step in. <laughs> yeah. Because <laughs> if you can't do it, how do you expect other exactly. people to do it, right? Mm -hmm. Okay. Exactly, okay. exactly. Um, I'm also collaborating with Suicidal mm. Goldfish. We're going to have a, an interactive art table. So, oh, cool. um uh, people who attend, mm -hmm. uh, they can uh, take home, you know, something that they create and they can put themselves in like a free space to make their own zine oh. or make their own card, a little bookmark or mm -hmm. however. And they, it's just like a little item they can take home, a little souvenir. So Okay, from mm -hmm. the event. So instead Perfect. of buying something, you can make yourself something at the event. Yeah, you mm. can do something like that too. It's just like an interactive table. So. Oh. Um, in between sets, you know, there's some activities to be done. Nice. That keeps the boredom away, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. I mean, if you're not a dancer, you don't want to dance in between or socializing. <laughs> just craft a little zine. <laughs> like, I'm going to go color in the corner. Yeah, right? Yeah. Okay. It's fun. <laughs> <laughs> that's interesting. Okay, that's vendors. That's uh, performers. You can have any food? Um, I'm working on that. Oh, I, I really? do want. I do want to see if I can have you know some some treats there so mm -hmm. um we don't have to walk you know i mean the area is really cool boy locos around the corner yeah uh -huh. <laughs> i think i think his house is around right oh yeah 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 but just something like right outside and so mm -hmm. that's something that i'm still in the works in okay that's awesome yeah that's, that's crazy <laughs> it's coming together i mean when you told me i think last year about that you wanted to do something and i said you know we should do it here I, I was thinking, what can you do in such a small space? You're going to other books. It's smaller there, I feel, sometimes, because mm -hmm. they have a lot of stuff there. Yeah. You know? <laughs> so how are you guys going to move shit around? Um, I was going to um, try to utilize in the indoor and mm. also outdoor, too. Uh -oh. um, I'm sure the weather will be okay by then. Hopefully. And yeah. um, <laughs> Right? Mm -hmm. um, but also, I think it was just more of, like, the intimacy. So, mm. you know, you can get to, um, to know others and, and have that close encounter with wow. everyone mm -hmm. well that's funny close encounter in the in a 
eight after COVID? Yeah. <laughs> I, maybe it wasn't the best. <laughs> no, but that's the thing. Everything's starting to come up again. Everything's right. starting to open up mm-hmm. again. Mm-hmm. These are the events we need now to start yeah. bringing people together and start talking again. Yeah, I, you know? I definitely wanted to to give that to others because mm. for me, when I started writing, it was it was a lot of alone time mm-hmm. and a lot of the things I've written were, you know, kind of stuck in my head mm. and you know this is like times where you don't want to reach out to someone even though you can mm-hmm. and i feel or you like you should have actually in that time yeah exactly yeah. um but i feel like this event um there's no pressure to you know it's all just gonna come natural and i'm excited to see what happens mm. <laughs> yeah so it's a little daunting isn't it yeah no? <laughs> <laughs> definitely this experience i mean after you do this one you're gonna obviously get the bug and you want to be doing another one and another one and the next thing you know you're gonna end up in a comic shop trying to do another <laughs> comic con somewhere oh wait, that's you sorry yeah that's me no, no. <laughs> it's addicting it really is I, mean, I, I came from doing shows like the shrine and you know doing comic con stuff like that that stuff can get addicting yeah. you know so i mean if you like it you're gonna end up getting the bug i'm i'm hoping to see how this um if it's a good turnout um to be able to host more different events Mm -hmm. um not so much with um, me included but Mm -hmm. maybe other um independent artists or even um young artists that you know haven't had that exposure yet Mm -hmm. and they can um so yeah just different events that i might be able to put together along the way that's that's what i'm saying you know Mm -hmm. you might not be part of that i mean right now you're doing it because you need the people yeah (laughs) but eventually you're gonna just be running the show Mm -hmm. you know be telling people you do that you do that come on come on yeah right (laughs) sounds fun sounds interesting all right well that takes care of the show (laughs) you know what what day actually what date is it it's going to be uh january saturday january 28th Mm -hmm. and the time frame is from 6 p.m to 9 p.m so that's three hours Correct. Three hours and stop partying down. Yep. At other books <laughs> How, how's Adam taking it? Does he? Uh, yeah, I think we we went over mm-hmm. you know the time frame. I gave him a huge gap and mm-hmm. just said what would work best, and um, yeah, we figured it out. Um, I'm I've had the pleasure to perform there before mm-hmm. in um, another event that um, a family a close family member uh, Lisa Pizza has put so many performances so she's been inspired inspired to have me do this myself mm-hmm. um, and she's done a few shows there as mm-hmm. well and I've had um, you know had the pleasure to be able to perform in one of the shows there that's actually how I met you yes yeah, <laughs> when it was Sadie Sadie or something Siete or something like that it was called before it was right uh, next to the bus station the site, site. Uh-huh. there you go it was right next to the bus station down the street from where I live and I remember going there mm-hmm. And you were there, I think you were a duet with someone else at that yeah. time, and that's how, I, that's how I remember meeting you. Nice. Yeah. <laughs> that was such a long time ago. <laughs> yeah. Seven years? Mm-hmm. Probably. Yeah. Yeah. That was a long, long time ago. So how you been seven years? <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah. I, well, yeah. 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 <laughs> Same. Definitely. Yeah, yeah. Um, I feel like at that time, performing, it was just um, playing, you know, mm-hmm. not really having... I think Sunshine Aja came, like, after. Okay. You know, I put on this whole, uh, I don't know if that's going to be another question you're going to ask on, like, how this came about. It's coming. So, <laughs> but, yeah. So, yeah, after that it yeah. is when I, it was created. But I was going to the real question was going to be, what's the difference between then and now? Um, then I, I felt like I needed um, somebody, mm-hmm. you know, to kind of shadow. Um, I didn't mm-hmm. want full attention or eyes on me because I didn't you know I didn't feel comfortable Mm -hmm. and I think now the growth of just um you know exposing like in like some intimacy and words and feelings um Mm -hmm. I feel a little bit more confident to to do that and hopefully others can relate to it okay so yeah that's a that's a big step I know that I've practiced a lot more so I feel more confident singing and playing Mm -hmm. so that's um that's a definite um jump from that's awesome. Then. That's awesome. That that that's what I was talking about. That big jump, that experience, that gathering. Mm-hmm. Now you're on your own and gonna yeah. go do it. <laughs> well, that takes care of the the, the instructional <laughs> portion of the situation. How you been besides that? You know, besides the working on this big project of yours. Um, pretty good pretty for good. the most part. Mm-hmm. Um, I think definitely playing has has been an outlet for me. Okay. I think I can 
be on the same boat as everyone where life is definitely stressful. There's mm-hmm. a lot going on. But, you know, as you mentioned earlier, um, having events like this or being able to um, treat yourself to go do something that you like mm-hmm. is, is definitely a must. We should be able to, you know, it. I don't know. I'm sure I can speak also for others, but it's like, hey, I'm going to go to this gig and you're all ready. And then you are trying to get out the door and it's like this force that's not letting you go mm-hmm. out and then you just go and crawl back in your bed. You just don't. <laughs> yeah. So. Shoes yeah. and all and everything. Right? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. yeah. I've been there a couple of times. Yeah. You're like, the door's there. I'm already have my keys in my hand. Maybe another 10 minutes. Yeah. And then 10 minutes or just half an hour, half an hour turns to an hour and oh, it's night. <laughs> yeah, and then you get that, what I, I don't know why I just recently found out mm. about the FOMO, like mm-hmm. the fear of missing out, right? Mm-hmm. But that's what it is. So, and and yeah, like the next day passes and you're not regretful and that's kind of a problem. Mm-hmm. <laughs> you're like, what happened? Yeah. <laughs> you you know? should be getting that FOMO, you know, you should yeah. be feeling, oh, I should have gone. I should have, it should get that regret. Exactly. Mm-hmm. And then when it doesn't hit, then you know something's wrong. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> mm-hmm. So. You know what? There was a time actually when you would have events here, and I would miss it out, and I'd be like, "Oh, whatever. I don't really, I didn't really like that artist. I didn't really like that person, or whatever." And I would get that little itch afterwards, like, "Well, I wonder what happened." And then this guy would come the next day. You know what happened? This <laughs> <laughs> like, God damn it! I did miss out. You know, mm-hmm. I started getting that FOMO. Now I'm here before him mm-hmm. setting up, <laughs> yeah, <and I'm laughs> making sure starts and shit gets done. You know, mm-hmm. total complete 180. You know, from missing out to yeah. being it making it happen definitely you know i think that's kind of where you're at right now kind of sort of yeah and i think this you know I, i'm not gonna lie when i say that you know i created this um flyer yeah. and i started you know sharing it with others and like within a week's time it's like oh i shouldn't have done that like let's try to take it back you know mm-hmm. but now the ball's rolling and yeah. i have to go with it um but it's not it's not so much that I don't want to. It's just, yeah. Sure. I mean, that's it's mm-hmm. it's scare. that scare. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> but, yeah, it's like any creative endeavor. Though. Like, like once you put it out there, like you have to do it now. Yeah. <laughs> like, there's no going back on that. He said we're doing a comic con. We had to do it. Yeah. yeah, I literally put the flyer up before we even knew where we were gonna have it. Mm-hmm. Oh wow! We just made the announcement. <laughs> we're doing it. And like, mm-hmm. and you know what? I've I've actually was able to go to those, oh, and, yeah, yeah. and those were so fun. <laughs> you know, um, mm-hmm. I even ended up finding out that some vendors that I've seen before in other places mm-hmm. were there, or mm-hmm. you know, someone's like, "Well, you were there. When were, when did you yeah. go?" You know, mm-hmm. I missed out, and I'm thinking, "Oh, well, that's neat," because I never told them about it. They yeah. never heard about it, and yeah. it was a big. You know, so. Yeah, a lot of people that, like, a lot of people went to the first one for sure. Mm-hmm. I know that because mm-hmm. we had a line up the door. We yeah. Came out of the <laughs> and it, it was really, really big that we thought the second year was going to be even bigger. So we ended up getting the parking yeah. lot. Right? Yeah. And yeah, that just became a bigger mess. <laughs> <That's> <laughs> all, yeah. You know? That's all it was. Don't get me wrong. We got through it. You know, mm-hmm. we were able to go get pizza afterwards. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> barely. We barely. <laughs> but we got through it. And again, it's just, again, ball rolling, mm-hmm. ball doing ball getting through yeah it's all about just doing that one thing man yeah. you gotta just make they take, 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 take that first step yeah. and you know and then you're there i mean yeah. she's already halfway there yeah. Yeah. yeah yeah it's it's coming up it's creeping up but i'm i'm excited you know i think as the days progress and more you know i get to you know, expose it to, I just recently told my coworkers today, mm-hmm. so they were excited about it. And just to see the reaction. Um, and that's another reason why I put myself on the bill is because I had a lot of friends who were asking me, like, do you have shows that like, I do open mics, but mm-hmm. you know, that's not enough. Mm-hmm. You have five minutes and I'm trying to figure out how to put my songs in five minutes. So it's, wow. <laughs> it mm-hmm. fits, um, or just like a mini set, you know, mm-hmm. and it's still not enough, but, um, yeah, to have that and be surrounded by friends and people that I'm comfortable with. Yeah, because you can't do much in five minutes, though. No. Yeah, maybe two <laughs> songs of that, right? Yeah, I've, I've actually got away with the last open mic, and mm-hmm. I was able to play three songs, but I had to cut them short, so I didn't get to prolong them, but I got uh, away with it, yeah. There you go. So you make, like, abridged versions of the songs? Yeah, and yeah. also, I just didn't talk. You know, sometimes people are like, hey, like, I'm going to play the song, yeah. you know, you, if you, yeah. This song means so much to me because da 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 Yeah, exactly. Yeah. I'm like, no, because right away, they're just like, you're there, mm-hmm. and um, I just started 
playing and singing and that's it. <laughs> that's cool. No, I mean, I like that banter that sometimes that the people have, both the people, the performers have with the audience, you know, mm-hmm. like he tells them the story. And then I've seen times where like, yo, he tells the story. And then someone afterwards, oh man, that story is so cool. Blah, 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 blah. You know, that helps people get attached to the artist. Exactly. You know, mm-hmm. it's weird, but it, it does work. You know, little stories like that, even though it's like seems irrelevant, someone in the audience might, you know, connect to it. Yeah. I, I definitely have had um, performed at an open mic where mm. I couldn't keep it together. I mm. got emotional. Mm. So, um, yeah, I, I did get feedback on that. Like, mm. I felt it, you know. Um, I remember doing an open mic where I just um, went, started off with, like, a little, po- a little poem that I wrote. Mm-hmm. And I could hear the audience, like, <gasps> They had a little, like, oh, and I, I thought, okay, they heard that. <laughs> they felt it. You wanted that so, reaction? Yeah, oh. I, I didn't expect any reaction, oh. but I, I got I got that, and I thought, okay, so, that yeah, no. you know, it, it hit them. So it, hit, it was yeah. nice to know that someone at least felt it. <laughs> yeah. No no teardrops in the audience type of thing? or No, but mm-hmm. I remember when I when I got off, someone, you know, like, it's dark in there, so they kind of clapped, they made themselves known, like, hey, you did great. Mm-hmm. Just getting shy getting off the stage but it's it's really cool to to see that you know mm, okay mm-hmm. it's a uh, um, do you get that stage fright still then i do i remember the last uh, open mic i did i my leg was just shaking and it wouldn't stop and i felt so embarrassed i was thinking everyone's probably noticing this so uh but I'm sure that that wasn't the case. No. <laughs> they could think, wow, the, her rhythm and her tempo is really fast. Right. <laughs> you know? And the strapping so slow. So, yeah. <laughs> but it, it, I mean, it's a good time, you know, once it's done. And, mm. and I've been able to perform in, in places where everyone's very, um, they make you feel comfortable, you okay. know. That's so good. they pay attention. And even though they're not performing themselves, and mm. if they are other performers, they're very encouraging. So. That's good. Mm-hmm. That's interesting. And how long have you been playing, actually? Um, I got this. I got my first ukulele, uh, probably about I want to say ten years ago. But okay. I haven't been playing a full ten years. <laughs> I'm that type where it's like I put it away for a while mm-hmm. and then I picked it up. So. But it's still always yeah. there. Yeah, it's still always, always there. Present. And before that, did you play any other instruments or anything like that? Yeah, I did. I was playing <laughs> uh, keyboards. Ooh. Actually, had a band <laughs> with really? my cousin, mm-hmm. and we would go from drummer to drummer to try to fill in. But yeah, I was doing even um, talent shows at high school and stuff with that uh, band. Oh, so. <laughs> it's a high school band. Yeah, Those are the best. So it's it's pretty funny. Yeah. We actually had um, our first gig, and it was a twenty one and over venue. Hmm. But my uh, my guitarist, it, it's mainly him and I, and he wasn't quite 21 yet, so he had to stay out of the venue. And then when he performed, then he was able to get on stage, and then um, he had to get, you know, out right, right out. after. But um, the cool part about that was there was a um, uh, someone who filmed the whole show, so we have it on oh. a little cassette tape. But if, nice. I know if I take it somewhere, they could put it on a DVD. Yeah. Maybe. <laughs> well, cassette tape, like a like. Like those old VHS tapes? Yeah. But the little ones? Mm-hmm. One of those mini ones. Yeah. So. I've, been, I've been looking for actually a transformer for those too, myself. <laughs> so I, can see. I got a couple of those little ones I don't know what to do with, you know? So. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And then you just keep it in a little box somewhere. Eventually you're going to see it. No, or... I actually made a copy and okay. then I let someone borrow it and oh. they never give it back. Mm. So I still have it. I can mm. go make another copy, but mm. it, I, I would be terrified to watch it now. <laughs> <laughs> Why? Because it's, it's so silly. It was, you know, I was a, a teenager yeah. still. <laughs> yeah, but, but that's that's part of, that's your building structure. But without that, you wouldn't be here right yeah, now. Yeah, you're, you know? you're right. I, I did write a lot of songs, you know, back then, so. Something might inspire you, you know. <laughs> you might, or maybe just watch it and laugh your ass off all day, you know. Yeah. Remembering how young you were and how, you know awesome and, you were yeah and i and i definitely can can feel that because it was it was so um it was related to all my interests i mean i'm still interested mm. in that but you know like the band was called chewy loves us and people <laughs> thought we were um a Sorry. christian band but it was because of chewy <laughs> Jesus. Jesus, yeah, yeah. but or yeah it was actually chewy as in chewbacca <laughs> <laughs> and i would actually print different 
t-shirts out, make mm-hmm. my own Chewbacca t-shirt, and I wore this tutu, <laughs> and it was so hilarious. But you know, my All right, now I want to see it. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> it was a tutu that you know my aunt had made for me. And that tutu would always be at every gig. Wow. And then it was just a handmade shirt. I remember I went to Comic-Con once and took mm-hmm. a picture with the Chewbacca. And that was one of the shirts I performed with awesome. at that show. So it's it's pretty interesting. Yeah. See? And you don't want to look back in this? Uh, no. Well, I do. But it's I, I know I don't know how I'll feel. That's the mm. I guess that's the fear of missing out, right? Yeah. Let's just get it done. Just get it done and see how you feel afterwards. Deal with it then. Yeah. <laughs> you know, you might be, oh, that was so disgusting. I don't want to talk to myself ever again. But <laughs> you got through it and you now know. Yeah. You know, that you sucked back then and you're better now. <laughs> <laughs> right. <laughs> Or it could be the other way around. You could be like, man, I had so much talent back then. What happened? Yeah, I feel like maybe I was more confident mm-hmm. in that situation than mm-hmm. I am here. Really? But it's because, you know, you have a band. Those those songs weren't um, as personal. They were kind of mm-hmm. goofy. And um, it can be worldwide related and, you know, a lot of similes and metaphors and things like that. Mm-hmm. And now it's like a whole personal thing. So well, It's totally different. Yeah, definitely. Wow. It's, it's, uh, wow. I mean, how do you, I don't know how to just put this question. When it comes to a personal song and a more fun song, um, obviously there's a big difference there, but how do you get to write each type of song? I mean, a fun song as compared to a personal song. Um, I think with fun, you're already imagining, Mm -hmm. you know, um, your audience and have them like having fun, you know? Mm -hmm. I think that's, when I first started writing music, it was, oh, you know, what can they dance to? I was also obsessed with the 80s. Okay. So it's like, what can they dance to? With, mm-hmm. Like those jingles that won't get out of your head. Mm-hmm. Um, so it was more about that. And I think when Sunshine Nausea was created, it was more of like, it, it was in a different setting, in mm-hmm. a different time. It's so. more of a story to tell there. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. Um, yeah, at least that's what I get from what I listen to, you know, yeah. a little bit I do. You know, there's more of a, I don't want to say structure, but there's something there. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know, but I'm just reading too much into it or what, but that's No, just I, I would agree. Okay. Like the, that, that passion. Mm-hmm. I mean, I feel like the tunes may, may seem repetitive, but mm-hmm. I know that a lot of um, the way I write songs mm-hmm. as Sunshine Nausea is just, I'm either so angry, I was so sad or whatnot and you know when I got a moment I would just pick up the ukulele and whatever came out you know I would just strum around and then I'd find something and I'm like I like this and then just kind of like in three words express how I felt and Mm. then that's it and I felt like okay I got it out and I wasn't actually thinking of exposing anything but Mm -hmm. then it just got to a point where I was like no I'm gonna do this and then it just started to become something it just started so. oozing out of you and you know, it became an actual creation of some sort yeah wow <laughs> <laughs> sorry it's awesome so it, it, it's personal on this level because i mean i've listened to a lot of your instagram ones i've listened to a couple on loop because you're right it, it there's some that you just could just listen to on loop and i could just be like in the I background guess. you know <laughs> i mean i don't mean to they, say weird things like that but I, obviously that's what i do sometimes yeah, it's good music <laughs> I don't have any other medium to play it, so my Instagram is playing it on a loop. Oh, no. Thank you. I, I you mean, know? that that makes me feel, you know, a little bit more confident, oh. like, you oh. know, to be like, okay, like, maybe we can record these. And that's like, want, I want to do that as a next step, mm-hmm. to record them and, you know, have them there. Yeah. Uh, because It'll make it easier for me, at least. Yeah. <laughs> right? <laughs> and honestly, for, for me, it's funny because I'll record it mm-hmm. and either I push um, record on my phone, so then I'll reference it back, mm-hmm. or let alone even then I'm just um, start recording myself and then I forget, so then I have to go back. <laughs> I, I actually have went on my own Instagram page to go and <laughs> back yeah. and hear what I had played or what I created. Mm-hmm. So that's kind of, you know, it's not structured at all in a way, but in a sense it does sound mm-hmm. like it- I might have practiced it and said, <laughs> okay, now I'm going to, okay. you know, you know, but most of those videos on my Instagram are just in the moment. Oh, interesting. Yeah, so I have to go back and reflect off of like, <laughs> wait, what chords did I play? It's what did like I say? Your notebook. 
Yeah, yeah. it's a live notebook. It's and a, I, yeah. I think that's what's so um, terrifying for me, mm. like to expose that now, because most people on Instagram, they look at their photo and they kind of, oh, like this one's not, you know, right lighting or this, you know, or the mm. video, like, oh, I kind of goofed here. Like, let me go back and revise it. And here it's just in the moment, you mm -hmm. know, um, most of those videos are just cropped in like, oh, it was too long or too short, mm -hmm. or I can't fit it in the whole Instagram, so I have to cut it in pieces. So yeah. it's like four mm -hmm. posts. Um, but other than that, it's, yeah, it's just that raw, rawness of the, the, uh, the, the, the thin, thin, thin. Yep. <laughs> beautiful, beautiful. And why don't you use the real one? The reels, you can do longer ones. Yeah, now I've, I've, I've realized that. Oh, no, oh. not to be punny, but... <laughs> no, 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 I realized that. Yeah. I think it's... Jokes. Yeah, it's a good joke. It's a good one. It's a good one. I think it's... Like, I like how it looks more when it's it's cut up because it's just kind of like, well, what what, is, what else is it? And it's kind of that in, mm -hmm. imperfection which goes along with this whole mm. story and... Um, Your narrative, huh? Yeah. Oh, interesting. <laughs> Interesting. That's it's the whole sunshine nausea. I mean, how could you get nausea after sunshine? Too much sunshine gives you nausea. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> mm. But there's a story behind like the title and all of that. Really? So, yeah. <laughs> Are we gonna hear it? Or <laughs> <laughs> I, mean, I can. I can. <laughs> so actually, I had wanted to play ukulele and just you know make up songs. I didn't know what I wanted to create exactly, mm -hmm. and I had. Um, I was in a relationship and the person we were joking around, we, we had, we had jokes and we're thinking, Oh, pukulele sounds funny. You know, <laughs> yeah, so I would have probably done pukulele, mm -hmm. but as I started to vent, you know, throughout this relationship, it was that sunshine, you know, um, vibes and everything that people mm. saw it's like oh that's a perfect relationship, you know, like it's so mm -hmm. beautiful. But then there's that darkness, um, when you're alone or, where people can't see it and then it's just like you're angry and you're hurting mm -hmm. and you're nauseated and you you can't even maybe even this person doesn't see that you, you know so you know you have to continue that sunshine even for that person for whatever reason mm -hmm. and so you just kind of once they're not around that's when that reality of like the ugliness in that relationship comes mm -hmm. out mm -hmm. and that's you know the whole sunshine and yeah. the you part so it's the dual side. It's like a two-faced thing, you know. It's like you're on one side, you're sunshine, and the other side, you're nausea. Yeah. You know, your Harvey <laughs> Dent is what you're telling me. Exactly. Yeah. Um, but you know, it's mm. it's it's pretty interesting because I've been able to have that um, mm. that structure of exposing a lot, but mm -hmm. not having to like go through. Yeah, because yeah. because then also too you don't want to be the villain in your story. You don't want to no. ruin someone's reputation so much. But you you do need your own outlet and your own closure sometimes. Mm -hmm. So this was like my way of doing it. Okay. And you know, me and, and I'm sure you know I've heard of friends and people too. I mean, you you can even go on social media and someone puts a quote and you're like, whoa, I felt that, you know. Mm -hmm. And so it. Heart. Yeah. Exactly. And and a lot of these relationships now, they can be a boyfriend, girlfriend, or even just friendships, you know, mm. it's um how people treat each other. And I thought, well, a lot of my my hurt can probably help somebody else too. So mm. you know, I wanna share it. <laughs> no, it it's it's a valid, valid reason. And I like that. It's my pain can help someone else. Yeah. You know? Some the fact that you're suffering can help someone else is kinda weird, isn't it? Yeah. But it's it happens all the time, you know. Someone will see you suffering and be like, "I don't want to go through that." Mm -hmm. So them themselves will make a change, mindful change themselves, and change out whatever they need to. Yeah. You know, you you're an example. <laughs> I, I don't want to say it that way, but you know, it, it's it's as a former example myself. I we are examples of what we shouldn't do or what we should do in these freaking weird ass situations. <laughs> but it could help someone else at the end of it. Yeah, yeah. And, and I've 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 been in that position where you know I've seen that you mm -hmm. know and um you know someone losing a loved one and they're writing music and mm -hmm. you're just like wow you know that was so moving and I don't know it just I I really wasn't wanting this to it wasn't my intention for this to become something mm -hmm. but even after this I I do have a plan to like another big project that I want to finish mm -hmm. in in regards to of course recording it um maybe one more. Um, big show 
Mm -hmm. maybe later on I'll, I'll, I mean when I have all my stuff together I have this giant idea mm -hmm. and I hope that FOMO won't get in the way <laughs> and I can get it done but once that happens it'll definitely be the closure or my personal closure on this sunshine nausea chapter and mm -hmm. I'm just hoping that by that time um, you know, I'll, I'll still keep the name because it's a fun little mm -hmm. name. Um, but that maybe I'm just collaborating or writing, you know, what I what I feel, and maybe at that point I'll have a whole nother from Chewy Loves This to Sunshine nice. Nausea <laughs> to a whole nother, you know, no, a four piece ukulele band, right? <laughs> Some kazoo or Ooh. you know, I don't know, like I have a toy accordion yeah. somewhere in my house, right? <laughs> like all these. Um, these little instruments that don't get that exposure. Yeah. <laughs> little triangles. Just play and then ding. ding. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that could be a thing. I'm just saying. A whole whole little triangle. Uh, maybe a little drum that you step on while you're playing the ukulele. Yeah, or just a tambourine on the floor. A tambourine on the floor. <laughs> That's interesting. That's fun. Mm -hmm. It's looking into the future and not knowing what's really going to happen. But you have a small vision of what you want, right? Yeah. Yeah, and, and one of the episodes we recorded earlier I, I made this joke that i'm gonna learn to play the ukulele okay and he got me a ukulele for christmas right, and you know i noticed that and i, kinda, I walked in right and i there. got nervous i'm waiting no, no, no. i was like no don't hey, hey do you want to play the ukulele no no, no. no. <laughs> it's not a tune that's why yeah I, i'm i'm waiting for the tuner i'm waiting oh, or, or right. the tuner I brought mine oh, <laughs> because yeah, he he made a, a threat that he's gonna learn space hog Oh. You know, <laughs> so by the end of the year, he has yeah, I'm gonna learn how to do it. He's got to perform. Okay. We're gonna, you know what? We're do you have any? Okay. No. We're gonna have, we're, we're have you perform. All right, we're gonna, I'm down. Uh, this this event's gonna be so successful. Mm -hmm. We're we're gonna have one in December. No, I'm kidding. Oh, <laughs> perfect. And perfect. Exactly right. You're gonna headline. Hey, I'm headlining. Yeah. Headline. Oh, I don't know. I'm yeah. Yeah. It's just gonna be that one. Mm -hmm. That one song. One song. That's it. One song. We're gonna call the guy from Space Hog and see if he can come. Oh, down. come down. Yeah. <laughs> we'll have it here because remember we we still gotta yeah, post so one see. here. Yeah. Done. done. Okay. You ready? Done. I'm ready. No, I'm not. Wait for the tuner. Oh yeah, you're right. That's funny. So, I mean, he might hit you up later for fucking yeah, tips and tricks. That might, yeah, I might. You could, you know? you could. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it, it was one of those situations where I thought that was so, it was so absurd. And, like, you know, he's never going to do that. He's never going to do that yeah. to the point where, like, let me go see if he was. Yeah. That, you know? You got to yeah. put it out there. Yeah. yeah. You got to do it. You just got to do it. He put it out there, right? Yeah, like, I'm yeah. just putting the money where his mouth was. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> And now, don't let the FOMO get no, in. No, I, I, I yeah. got to do it. Well, the thing is, Trippy, that ukulele is a weird instrument, man. Because I was watching videos, mm -hmm. and this guy's like, I could show you three chords that you could play like 80 songs. Yeah. And I'm like, what? <laughs> And then just the tune, the tuning and yeah. like the strings. Um, I think all ukuleles are different. Mm. I have two, and mm. they, I feel like they sound so different. Mm. So, but yeah, yeah, that's what I like about it is that you can play any chords, any way, um, even the same chords, and it just sounds yeah. magical. <laughs> <laughs> it does. It does. It really does. And the guy at the at the place when I was like, "Do you need one that's?" Uh, like more bass? I'm like, more bass? What are you talking about? <laughs> he shows me like this really nice one. Mm -hmm. And I'm like, that is pretty. No, I mean, I just need like something simple. <laughs> yeah. it's, it's a gift. And I go, it's a gift for a child. Oh, oh. damn. <laughs> you know, oh, okay, cool. And he pulls out like this one and some other clear one. Yeah. And I'm thinking the clear one, hmm. <laughs> it's like $20 more. Not worth the joke. <laughs> Not worth the joke? <laughs> yeah. yeah. I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it. Yeah. I'm tired. I'm yeah. going to do it. Hey, show me. No, I'm going to do it. Yeah. <laughs> I can't wait. I'll be front row. <laughs> it's on now. But see, I was telling them, like, I just feel like if you if you play the ukulele, you have to sing, right? You can't just play it, right? I mean, it, it does it does go, I, I feel like it does go better. Yeah, right. sing, mm -hmm. But, I mean, I don't know. I, right. I have some that I don't, I, I can't find the, the lyrics that I want for the song mm -hmm. to go together. So yeah. it just has to be like a little poema before or after. And then just, this mm -hmm. is how it sounds. <laughs> so that's going to happen. It's not combined yet, but yeah. it's okay. Because it's, it's just like this, you know, these words are not supposed to be sung. They're supposed to be, you know, said mm -hmm. or spoken. Mm -hmm. okay. And then, but then there's a little melody, you know, just kind of like the, when you're, just need a vibe and you want to listen to something on loop, right? No. You don't want to hear no. lyrics, but just so I, th I think we can pull it off. Well, we'll see. We'll see. <laughs> you got to learn this one song. Just one song. <laughs> one song. That's all you got to do. That's you got to do. You got 12 months. <laughs> <laughs> that's a good time. That's a good, yeah. That's, yeah, a good, yeah. that's 
Perfect time. I'm going to do it. You know what? You're going to surprise us all with two songs, aren't you? Oh, maybe. Yeah. Well, I, yeah. I don't know. Space Hug only has that one song. <laughs> <laughs> Matthews band. That's, that, that's, oh. that's hard. Like I don't have. I know. No. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe like some like Adventure Time stuff or like you know, oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. or Steven Universe. Like you know, oh. there's a lot you can lay there, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Definitely would yeah. be good. There you go. Mm-hmm. You can do SpongeBob. I'm just oh, there you go. That too. <laughs> That would be a hit. That would kids would love that. That would kids would love it. Yeah, me too. Yeah. <laughs> That'll be your warm up. You there know? you go. Just do there a little go. plug, and everyone gets all excited. You're like, no, it's not happening. No. <laughs> Space hog, everybody. But I got your attention. Right. Are you ready? What's the name of the song? In the meantime. In the meantime. Oh. I, I always forget the name of the okay. song. Okay. But in the yeah. meantime, that's yeah. what it's like. Mm-hmm. All right. It's the best grown song ever. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, it's making a comeback. No, it's not. It's in the Guardians trailer. Oh, okay. And then there's an episode. The, oh, Quantum Leap came back. Mm-hmm. And oh, the, they're in the 90s, and they opened the episode with that song. Oh, okay. Mm. It's coming back. Okay. It's coming back. <laughs> I mean, Guardians does have really good soundtracks, yeah. so I'm excited for this one. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I think that's one of the few soundtracks that I just put on. I could listen to it all the way through. Yeah. Because the music's so different. It's so I, I own that on CD. I own that on vinyl. Yeah. <laughs> you know, nice. Yeah, last week I was playing it here, and as I was playing, I'm like, you know what? I'm tired of this. I'm just going to watch the movie. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> you know? Mm-hmm. Those visuals. Yeah. That's I mean, fine. Guardians is my favorite Disney ride. I have to go on that oh. one all the time. Really? That I've been on it once because I was terrified oh. afterwards. Wow. <laughs> I think I think it makes it fun with the 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 visuals. Yeah. You know, your the whole setup mm-hmm. of like we're escaping. Mm-hmm. And I mean, you can't deny Rocket's like personality. Yeah. It makes it so mm-hmm. fun. Where you're, like coming out. That's, of yeah. yeah. That's my favorite part of that ride is walking through and seeing mm-hmm. the museum and all that stuff. That's yeah. really cool. You got Cosmo in there. Yeah. And, you know. But the freaking ride, I had never got on it. And my oh. little sister had got on it multiple times. Mm-hmm. When it was Guardians or when it was Twilight? No, it was Guardians. Okay. And then we got in there and she said, I have to sit in the corner. And she goes, because I'll hit the roof. And I'm like, what do you mean? And then the first drop, I was like, what? No, no, no. <laughs> you know what's wild is I always uh, I always like to just have my hands up the whole time. Oh, really? <laughs> yeah. It's it's more, it, it, I don't know, it just gives yeah. you more of that effect. And your stomach goes all the way here. Yeah. Right? Oh, no. But when when you're kind of yeah. tiny, it's it's scary because you're like, whoa, I'm, I'm yeah, like yeah. you said, you know, she might. You feel, feel that. Like you can feel up. yourself going up. It's, yeah. it's terrifying. <laughs> I just realized she could fly off a roller coaster. You could fly yeah. off a roller coaster. It's pretty, it's pretty terrifying. Yeah. I, I don't think I want to be a short person. No, no. no I, I, I told myself in my next life I was going to be short, but I, I think I don't want to anymore. No, it has its perks, and then it has its, like, not so good. Yeah. What are the perks? Um, the R- perks is like dodging is like easy. <laughs> Hiding is easy. Rain hits you last. Right. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, if I had to, like, Hide in a cupboard somewhere, I'd fit. Yeah, you probably. Okay. Yeah, so yeah, that works out. <laughs> <laughs> you, Get you into small pa- places. Awesome at hide and go seek, apparently, huh? Yeah. yeah there you go. There you go. <laughs> That's fun. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Into into cupboards, she says. Have you done this before? I I remember I worked at a bowling alley once, and we had a box for cups. Mm-hmm. And I fit in it. And uh, we placed me in there and um, a coworker passed by. We knew they were going to pass. And I jumped out. And from there on, I, I swear they just didn't want to talk to me again. <laughs> they were mad. And they were just thinking, like, I, could, I can't believe that you fit in there. Yeah. So, uh, yeah. I mean, I, I have. There's been times where I'm, like, cleaning mm-hmm. a cupboard or something. And I'm like, if I go in here, I'll fit. Like, I'll just fit in here. <laughs> So it, it's kind of a little embarrassing, but it's, I mean, it's neat. Yeah, it sounds fun, mm-hmm. dude. It sounds fun. That's why I want to be smaller, dude. I can fit anywhere. I can do anything I want. I mean, can you? you know, <laughs> weight restrictions are none, none whatsoever. No, yeah. I mean, I guess, but then you can't get on roller coasters. Oh, yeah, true. If you're too, too small. Yeah. I have a friend that I go um, to Disneyland, Disneyland with mm-hmm. quite often, and they make jokes about the measurement required. Oh, do you, you know, of yeah. course I'm tall enough, but they're <laughs> always pointing at the, you know, always making small jokes, mm-hmm. short mm-hmm. jokes. So it, it's 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 pretty funny. I've learned to love it. So, yeah. yeah. <laughs> nothing wrong with being short. No, I mean, no. nothing wrong with it. Yeah. Like you said, you fit in any cupboard, you fit anywhere. 
yeah. scare people. <laughs> right. Yeah. That's awesome. You know, we got this the cover thing up on the top. We've been kind of wanted to go to. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, the, the ghost? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. No, it definitely could fit in there. <laughs> but that's what also I was going to mention is that if you're a taller person, mm -hmm. you know, then you can just pick the little person up and yeah. like go. That you know what I mean. So mm. you're you're useful. It makes you more useful. It's a fastball special. Remember, we call yeah, it. <laughs> fastball special. There was a guy that came in here one time. Mm. I don't know how tall he was, but he was huge. Like he had a duck oh, to wow. get into the door. Mm. And I was like, holy crap! Yeah, <laughs> like the guy from Big Fish. Kind of. He was pretty big, yeah. and he had like long limbs. He was. You know, oh, wow. Yeah. Oh, that's awesome. That's, Imagine. Yeah. Scary. Did he come in with like a short version? No, he didn't come with <laughs> that. Yeah, but funny. funny. Yeah. That would have been big. He came with another tall person. Wasn't as tall as him, mm. but yeah. Hmm. It makes me want to go like this. It makes me go straight like, I want to be tall like this guy. So, did they buy anything? No, no. Just, but he hit his head on the way out. Like, oh. like, like <laughs> <laughs> you got to put a sticker now. Watch yeah. your head. And then have like a little Sasquatch photo. I don't know if that would, well, I don't know if that would be offensive. Never mind. <laughs> no, but I like it. Right? Did you know the city of San Gabriel? Mm -hmm. Has a Sasquatch mascot. Yeah. Yeah. Because, um, <laughs> because I went to a, a festival and mm -hmm. they have, the and he has a name yep. and everything. What? Yeah. What's his name? A Gabby I, or something? It's something. Some kind of say Gabriel name. like twist. Oh, yeah. like yeah. pun. Oh, I have um, some family and they have a, a band called uh, Pizza, Pizza Stains and they mm -hmm. performed that. I love Pizza Stains. And yeah, and they actually took a photo with him. They caught him. And they, well, do you have his t shirt on? <laughs> yeah, he yeah. was all. He yeah. was all <laughs> yeah, jazzed up with his shirt, all cool. Yeah. And oh, that man, was an awesome photo. I did see that picture. Yeah. He, uh, what's it called? There was like a, uh, some kind of bike ride race. Uh -huh. or, mm -hmm. And he was like, riding a bike. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> wow. Kudos to whoever goes in there. <laughs> He's actually going You mean the actual Sasquatch? Oh, I mean, yeah. <laughs> like, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Yeah. I mean, kudos to Sasquatch himself, the main man. The main man. He lives in San Gabriel yeah. Valley. <laughs> And it's a mascot for San Gabriel. Kudos yeah. to that. Yeah. Sasquatch. Oh, it's so weird. Like, how did, how did that be a thing? Like, yeah, you know, like, oh, let's get a Sasquatch as a mascot. You know, I um, this is the first time I'm hearing that he's actually the mascot. I just thought they put well, the event. So yeah. I looked into it. So basically, oh. there was a pro. There was a guy that had an organization, mm -hmm. and the mascot was a Sasquatch. And then he got into the local government, so they made the mascot. You know, oh. for the all the, the local San Gabriel events, and it just became a thing. It just you know. So he just brought them with them. Yeah. Oh mm -hmm. man. Hmm. Yeah. Interesting. Well, you know, maybe for the next event, we can we can try to capture him and bring <laughs> him over. <laughs> he can DJ. I like that. Okay. Maybe like, it's possible. I think so. I, I I don't know who to reach out to, but I'm I'm sure. Call City Hall. City Hall. <laughs> yeah. Hey, where's Sasquatch at? I know and you guys they, are hiding them. They hit a button and a light goes out, and <laughs> <laughs> it's just a big footprint, like. <laughs> Write that down for being yeah, And he's like, oh, well, time, <laughs> to go. time to go. Like a bad signal. <laughs> yeah. The You're needed at the signal. Call. The yeah. squad. A squash phone. Like oh, man. Yeah. How does it ring, though? I don't know. That, <laughs> that, weird, that weird whistle right. that they make? Or oh, the the <laughs> oh, <laughs> it's no. all slimy and moldy. No. <laughs> Furry. Yeah. Oh, no. It smells like. Yeah. That's what probably smells bad, huh? They. Skunk ape. <laughs> yeah. That's another name for yeah. them, the skunk yeah. ape. So, oh, yeah. yeah. So they probably what was it, the, the, the forest ninjas? <laughs> forest ninjas. Because they climb on the trees. Oh, they jump from tree yeah. to tree. Mm -hmm. Supposedly. <laughs> that's why we can't ever see them, because they're ninjas. Jeez, that's kind of terrifying. <laughs> okay, we were just talking about night, ha uh, night hikes, and I don't know if I want to... I have yet to see uh, Sasquatch on my night hikes. But what I've seen is coyotes. I've seen wolves. I've seen deer. You know? So one time we went really early in the morning. Right. And, or late at night. Yeah, or late at night. <laughs> <laughs> and you could hear the coyotes. Yeah. Oh. Yep, yep. And I remember like the, we were into a ranger or something, right? Yeah. So, and he said, oh, don't worry about the coyotes. It's those deer you need to worry about. What? Because they'll trample you. Like, they'll, like, oh. yeah. Mm -hmm. And I remember we went, and I was, like, tired. And we got really, and I, I remember I just fell on the floor, and I was laying on the floor, just laying there. And as soon as I look over, there's a deer, and I'm like, fuck. <laughs> this is how I die. <laughs> like, so I'm not getting up. Yeah, I'm like, <laughs> nope. <laughs> your, light, your light flashed before yeah. your eyes. Wow. Well, the one time you went hiking. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, I'll, I'll be um, prepared for that. Yeah. <laughs> It's fun. I mean, you ever had encounters in the wilderness out there? Um, I remember a long time ago I mm. went hiking, um, and I was. This is when I had a serious fear of snakes, mm. and there was a 
a rattlesnake on the on the trail and a couple you know they're looking at the floor and i'm 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 observing them thinking okay there's something there <laughs> they're kind of walking around being cautious but these are professional hikers i mm -hmm. suppose they just walked around it and they just warned us hey there's a rattlesnake right there mm -hmm. I heard that and I wanted to jump off the cliff and roll. I was freaking <laughs> out. I think I, I have this memory that my cousin was with me and I remember asking him, like, mm -hmm. you have to pick me up and like take me. <laughs> I don't want to see it. And uh, yeah, that, that fear quickly went away a few okay. years later. So I'm not terrified of snakes anymore. Can you hold one? So that's how my fear gone away. Mm -hmm. I, I, I was teaching and we had a reptile show. Mm -hmm. So the manager of the job knew that I was terrified and all the staff members had to participate. I would have let those roaches crawl on me, I would, <laughs> all that. But he, he waited and let me hold the boa constrictor Ooh, the albino no. bo boa constrictor uh, that's i pretty yeah i took a photo um i didn't want the kids to fear so mm. i was like smiling but kind of crying mm. inside <laughs> and uh, i took a picture i remember the first person i shared it with was my mom mm. and she's like oh it's vicky spears so it was hilarious uh. <laughs> but definitely i yeah after that i i can't say that it was not mm -hmm. you know as terrified anymore i was okay with it okay it was heavy that's like a nice switch on and off right there right yeah, I was mm -hmm. like, and, and then this is the thing. I was all confident, and then uh, the guy tell you know the reptile host. He's like, okay, so when you put her down, mm -hmm. the girl, when you put her down, um, place her down gently, and then you want to hop as quick as quick as you can because she's gonna like try to suck you in. And then my fear came what? Back, like what? <laughs> so he's like, yeah, you know, like hopscotch, or and I was just like, okay, or like a skip it. Okay, mm -hmm. I got it. So. I had to do that quick reflex, and, and I got, I mean, she didn't move, but I was terrified thinking that, yeah, once she reached my legs, it was just going to suck me in and Rubber. start eating me or something <laughs> like Beetlejuice. You got a little thing tells you that afterwards. Yeah. Like, yeah. Like, <laughs> I'm all hot, like happy-go-lucky, yeah. like, yeah, I'm not scared. I was like, okay, never mind. But then it's like a skip it. I mean, who the hell uses a skip it nowadays? Uh, not, I mean, I, I'm still, I think they still exist, and really? I want yeah. one. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Bring, back my childhood really oh yeah <laughs> oh man i didn't even know and boppets are still a thing like mm -hmm. i seen boppets mm -hmm. i never seen a skip yeah anymore. they still exist i haven't seen a skip in like over 20 you years. gotta buy online now probably okay oh. so now i'm gonna buy one and yeah. bring it to the store <laughs> <laughs> skip it. i'm gonna say this now i used to be pretty good at it really yeah but, nice. but i think i'm too big now to actually do anything <laughs> about it I saw, this, I, saw, I saw this dude on the, the TikTok. He was using it. It was like something mm -hmm. kids of the 90s would remember or something. And he was using it. I'm like, that thing looks so small. Yeah. You know, I don't I don't know how I used to do it. Yeah. Because you were smaller. Yeah, yeah you were. I've been the same size. No, I haven't. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. No? Getting personal. Getting personal. <laughs> I remember when I was a kid. No, I was a kid. I was like a teenager already. And my grandfather got me a, a pogo stick. Oh. But like a legit one. Like it was like metal and everything. And I was like, how do people do this? Like, like it's just ridiculous. You did one and then you Yeah, and you fall and off. And like, you know, but I was like, how do, can that you see the video? You see people like bouncing and flipping. And flipping. Oh. <laughs> yeah. yeah, that's terrifying. No, I, was, I couldn't do it. <laughs> you see how the pogo I Somewhere, probably. Can I borrow it? Maybe. Nice. It probably was in the storage unit we went to. <laughs> All right, so then we'll have another show where we just like have a circus thing, and everyone's just bopping it, skipping it, pogoing. I saw I saw a TikTok video of this guy. Uh, he's like he, he took his kid's pogo stick and he's like bouncing in the house, and then the last one he goes through the floor, like like the, the 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 bottom just goes through the floor. <laughs> wow. 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 Yeah. There you go. The kids were braver back then, man. That's, that's dangerous. I don't think we were braver back then. I think we were just more... Um, dumb. <laughs> <laughs> well, I was going to say something else, but yeah. No, yeah. Dumb, dumb work, so, you know? I, I just don't think that we had what... I mean, the creativity that, you know, or we had more creativity yeah. when we were younger. Mm -hmm. We didn't have, you know, the devices and stuff. So we had to choose our Figure own games. Out, like, yeah. how many times can you jump on the pogo stick and break something? Yeah. You know, like, that's how we used to play. <laughs> so. Like, I forgot who, I, I said to my little sister about how, like, back in the day, if you missed the show on TV, you had to wait till the summer yeah. to watch it <laughs> for reruns. And yeah. she was like, what do you mean? And I'm like, yeah. Like, <laughs> I know. And mm. just to go back and, and think about all that kind of stuff, you know, I think I was reminiscing um, the other day and I remember being a child um, in my grandparents' living room playing WWE <laughs> on WWE night with Ooh. my cousins mm. nice. and making a mess with the 
pillows all over the floor and poor grandma's yelling at us <laughs> like you're gonna hurt yourselves and we're throwing ourselves off the couch i'm i'm this one i'm the you know yeah. like, i'm lita and you guys are hardy boys so that's it you know like that's how we used to play yeah. didn't care um i know that my generation of cousins like when we all, we were really close mm-hmm. and we had broken legs broke you know all these injuries and now i it's rare that i see the generation of my you know, cousins in my family where they're injured, seriously injured. Mm-hmm. So it's kind of sad to say, but I think it's more of like a, the emotional and the mental, which is even yeah. more saddening. Yeah. Because well, we can't see it. Mm-hmm. It's, it's, but it's there, mm-hmm. you know, and it's, it's different than when you were a child. Yeah. When, when you're a child, you can yeah. actually see the bumps and bruises and scrapes. Yeah. No, but it's crazy because like, 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 like my dad was telling me how when he was a kid, he had a freaking BB gun. But then when he described it, I was like, that's just like a gun, <laughs> like, like weapon. Right? Like, <laughs> Different times. I mean, yeah. you, you wouldn't be able to give a kid a BB gun now, right? Yeah. No. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you could give it to them. Yeah. <laughs> could you? You can't be like, here, kid, have here's a BB gun. I don't think so. It's like twenty nine ninety nine. I think the, they're the dangerous. I think they're dangerous. <laughs> All right, you know what? If my cousin's out there listening. They are dangerous because I shot my cousin once with a BB gun. <laughs> yeah, he still has it. Like, if you lift up his arm, oh. he has a BB like on his shoulder, yeah. I heard they hurt. Yeah. I mean, obviously, too, if you watch the show Jackass, you've seen so many mm-hmm. injuries and things that you shouldn't do. Yeah. Um, but, so, yeah. It shouldn't do, but everyone was kind of like but the next day. Curious. Yeah. yeah. You know, I'm Steve. No, I'm Johnny. Yeah, yeah, definitely. And they're still, you know, like old geezers still trying to. Mm-hmm. They're like, no, yeah. I don't think these kids are going to fall through with that. Mm-hmm. It's different times. Different mm-hmm. times. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I used to jump off roofs for fun, you know? You know, WWE, you're talking about yeah. that. I used to WWF, you know, and <laughs> jump off roofs. And and now I'm, I'm terrified going to the roof on top of the roof. We had to fix the shingles like, up before this rain. Oh, wow. We had to go up to the roof. I'm like, ah, let me just stand here by the ladder, you know? Right. But no, how to get your up own there. personal Trump Trump <laughs> trauma. I did that myself. <laughs> <laughs> that is pretty funny though. Oh, what were we talking about? Pogo sticks. We're, we're talking about pogo sticks. What, what were we talking about before we ended a like a thing? Well, the pogo sticks, um, events, ukuleles. Elf, we were talking about Elf. We oh, that about was before. <laughs> <laughs> and that was before she came. Yeah, yeah. yeah. You never seen Elf? Yes. Do you like Elf? I I loved him as a as as a kid. Yeah. I haven't seen him. You know, I was hearing theories that he's an alien, but people thought he was like a mammal or so it's like a. It's a thing. Uh, yeah. It's yeah. A yeah. Conspiracy. Thing. He's and real. You know that, right? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he's I real. Don't want to, I don't want to imagine him real. Mm-hmm. It's, it's just an alien that came to Earth and got a show, a TV show, and people thought he was a puppet. So that's why they used him as a puppet. Oh, because boy. he kind of looks like one. You know, it's real. He looks like ant, ant breeder. Like he's yeah. kind of like, a, like an ant, yeah. but yeah. Uh, well, ant eater mixed it's, with the, I don't know. It's funny, I was telling them when I was a kid, um, <laughs> my family we would watch Elf. Yeah. And in the second season, there's in the intro, he's walking around the camcorder, oh. and then he puts it down, and he walks over to the family. And you see his full body. And that freaked me out as a child. <laughs> like, <laughs> because you never see his legs. You yeah. never, you know, but then you see his whole... I'm like, oh, is he real? <laughs> like, <laughs> Yeah, it's definitely terrifying. I mean, I think we can name a few from like our time where they're pretty scary. <laughs> any of the Muppets, really. Yeah. I love them all, but any of the Muppets is still kind of <laughs> weird to me. Yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. How do they move? Why, why yeah. are they doing that? I'm I'm obsessed with the idea of like I don't understand how Muppets ride bikes. Cause they do that in a lot of the movies. Oh, you're right. And then not only that, but like they're fully like being puppeteered because they're yeah. talking, they're singing, yeah. and, like oh, man. the hands are moving. I, I don't know how they how they do that. Yeah. They're real. <laughs> I keep telling you. That is so wild. I no, that's pretty terrifying to think about. Jim Henson tapped into another dimension <laughs> and pulled out these so called Muppets. <laughs> From this other dimension, so you're gonna work for me, or else I'm gonna do weird things to you with, your butt <laughs> with my hand. <laughs> like, okay, okay. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I'm your, you're our master. Yeah. Right? Until, I'm after master. Boy was cool with it. You know he had. You know, like, <laughs> how did Jim Henson do all those voices? That's true. That's, That's impossible, true. right? I mean, is it? No, I'm just saying. I mean, unless unless there's 
unless we need to start turning it to Jim Henson himself, like, hmm. whoa, what is I he? Mean, yeah, what kind of wizard oh, is exactly. he? Oh, he's just like a like a like a humanoid Muppet. Ooh. <laughs> but who's whoa. controlling the Muppet? Ooh. Man, I, it's too late. You know what? Have tonight. <laughs> we're coming in on an hour, so we're almost at the end here. Um, before we go, though, let's go over the rundown of the show coming up on January. January 28th. 28th from 12 to no, from 3. From, <laughs> six. from 6 p.m. to 9 p.m. Okay. <laughs> See, I'm going to get there at 3 o'clock and be like, hey, where is everybody? I'll, I'll be waiting. You're going to go to the Pueblo Loco and, yeah, yeah, and yeah. Yeah. take in. I'll yeah. hang out with Adam. Okay. You know, yeah. <laughs> I haven't seen him in a while. Yeah. Yeah. Definitely. Yeah. Um, the bookstore itself is just such a mm-hmm. an adventure yeah. to, to look at. It's beautifully set up. I, I love how... The old how, books. Yeah. And that. You know, it's just not your typical... I mean, no offense to Barnes and Nobles, <laughs> but, you know, it's... No. it's I, I love that place. So it, it feels like a, like a home... You know, you're in a home of books. <laughs> it feels like an other bookstore. Yeah. Uh, uh, good job, me. All right. And the rundown, anyway. <laughs> Jan- Saturday, January 28th mm-hmm. at Other Books. Okay. Um, and that will be from 6 p.m. to 9 p.m. Okay. <laughs> And we're going to have performances by myself, Sunshine Nausea, mm-hmm. Small Forest, uh, Ghost Water, and Thelma. Okay. And we'll have vendors and artists um, by Ben Raz, A. Sizzle, Huswell Bones, and Suicidal Goldfish, mm-hmm. also Focaccio d'Amore. And um, DJ Cheap Business is going to be spinning all the, the hits wow. from your... Childhood to your <laughs> ins and now no nice. the ones and twos. Huh? It's it's mandated to dance to bust. Oh move. wow! No, it, okay. it's really not. Yeah, you really should put that rule on. Huh? Yeah, no, yeah. definitely. You know, um, I I did want to <laughs> talk about maybe placing a, a little section where it's mm-hmm. this is the dance area. So yeah. you know, I, that'd be interesting. But how many people will actually dance? I don't know. I, I, I don't know, these man. these wallflowers can you get to? I don't know. Are you going to go and dance? Oh, I'm not going to go and dance. <laughs> well, no, then, no. I've been itching to dance. So I'll no. probably be. No. I mean, when, when I'm not busy, you know, mm-hmm. trying to conduct everything. Mm-hmm. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's going to be my little breather, mm-hmm. my little break. I'm dancing. <laughs> give, <laughs> give me, me <laughs> yeah, give me one minute <laughs> and I'll get to you. <laughs> well, uh, make sure no one bugs her during that time. There you go. <laughs> yeah, all right. All right. <laughs> There you go. It's funny. Okay, so that's who's going to be there. You're going to be performing. A lot of people are going to be performing. Um, how can we get in contact with you, or like, how can we find you or find these this event? So um, a lot of our artists are sharing it through mm-hmm. Instagram. Uh, if you go to my Instagram, it's mm-hmm. Sunshine Nausea. Mm-hmm. Um, uh, there's word. a Sunshine Nausea. One word, mm-hmm. no little things in between. Though to be helpful, mm-hmm. there is a little em- emoji of a sunshine and. Uh, <laughs> nauseated <laughs> you know? up. yeah so um my page is private mm-hmm. so uh if you would like to follow me go ahead and request me and i'll gladly you know add you on there and then from there you can um you know look at the the promo video that i created and also the flyer that i created mm-hmm. um other books has been sharing it as well mm-hmm. and from my page you can see the other artists that i've linked okay so Hopefully and we'll share we'll that have, all as well. Yeah, yeah. Of yeah and <laughs> more followers. Not not for the you know for the followers, but <laughs> no, <yeah. laughs> that, I don't want that. <laughs> I just want, I just want people to like yeah. it. <laughs> Wait, how does that work then? <laughs> I, oh man, I, I'm saying all the wrong things. Yeah, it's like I want more people to like it, but I want no followers. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's it's more a uh, more more of. You know, this is this is for the the real deal, not okay. for a popularity thing. Okay, that, that's not what I want. <laughs> not, I want people to come and have a good time. Yeah, definitely. Okay, sounds good. It's gonna be a good event. You're gonna be there. I'm gonna try. I'm gonna try. I mean, okay. it's after the circle. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, yeah. I'll be there. Yeah. <laughs> if yeah. not, we'll we'll hire the Sasquatch to oh, it's it's <laughs> <laughs> capture you. Yeah. Right, you know, we'll, I'm gonna um, we'll call get, City Hall, right? We're, we're getting that Sasquatch in this store one day. <laughs> I'm doing it. Mm-hmm. That same day we're playing the ukulele, huh? Yeah, well, probably. Oh my! My God. opener. Let's see, that won't happen. He's your opener. Yeah. What does he play? He just roar, roars. Well, I think. He's gonna announce you. Yeah, yeah. Oh, I want to say he does spoken word. Ooh. Oh. 
Mm, it's all about the forest. Yeah. Like, the <laughs> trees. Rock big. <laughs> Rock good. <Right>. Yeah. <laughs> wow. This is I'm new, down. New Nair poetry, yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I love it. Okay. Thank you very much, by the way, for being with us today. Thank you guys. <laughs> We're going to for... end it on such a weird note with Sasquatch. But. <laughs> Yeah, well, you know, you know, um, we're all going to the event. Anyone wants to listen? You guys better go to this event. <laughs> better, oh, yeah. this is very threatening. Yeah, very threatening. What I said in a monotone voice, very calm. That's true. That, that's even scarier. Oh, I'm sorry. Hey guys, you should go to this event. <laughs> that better. A little bit, yeah. yeah. Okay. Okay. Bitches better fucking. Do <laughs> What's gonna work? I'm gonna edit one out. Mm, I'd leave all three. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Do Thank I you. approve? Um, sure. <laughs> <laughs> cool. And It'll actually, attract different, you know, types yeah, of personalities. Yeah, exactly. It's so, flavor you know, for everybody. Mm-hmm. Selective mm-hmm. hearing, you're going to hear one. And <laughs> you're going to get Let's do it. <laughs> Whether it was the nice one, the bad one, or the monotone one, there's yeah. one for you. And exactly. the, the Sasquatch one. Just the Sasquatch one. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> awesome. <laughs> okay. And to anyone who's listening to this nonsense, thank you very much. And you have yourself a good day. Good morning, good afternoon, and <laughs> <laughs> bye. bye. <laughs>